So all cabbage instruments and plugins can be described in terms of their underlying source code. So I just want to go over the structure of the underlying source code just to give you a brief overview of where things are supposed to appear. So I'm going to create a new cabbage instrument. Call it test, sure. I don't mind replacing that last one. So this is going to create a very simple basic instrument with a very uh, simple output. Do it, do it. Lovely. So all of this text here describes how this instrument sounds and how this instrument looks and it's broken up into different sections. So we can see there's not much code here, there's 26 lines of code. right? We can also see that the code is broken up into different sections. For example, here you've got CS Instruments. The CS Instruments is quite an important section. The sections start with a less than sign and they end with a less than forward slash. And that denotes a, a section. It's kind of in the style of XML tags. So the CS instrument section is very important because it describes how the instrument is going to behave, what kind of sounds it's going to make, how it's going to process the audio, etc. etc. It also has this header section here, which describes things like the sample rate at KSMPS, which is the number of samples between every K cycle, something we'll cover later in future tutorials, and the number of channels. So by default, Cabbage sets up two channels. Okay, so for stereo. That's the instrument section. The other section you have is the oops, that's on it. Here. Oh here we go. It's the score section. And the score section basically tells instruments when to start, when to stop. Uh, it also lets you you can define function tables in the score section, which are from really s buffers of audio of different they could be a cycle of a single waveform or they could be something more complex so they can be declared in the score section as well using so-called f statements uh, this is a special f statement f0 3600 it basically tells c sound to wait for events for 3600 seconds so we're not actually instructing c sound to start any instrument in this particular source file we're just telling it to wait for input from the keyboard and uh, as it turns out, the input from the keyboard is going to trigger this instrument then. Okay, so that brings us to the CS options section up here, which tells CSound how to interface with the audio drivers. It uh, lets us set up things like buffer sizes. In this case here, we're telling CSound to pass information from the MIDI keyboard to one instrument. That's what this stuff here is about. And then finally we have the cabot section up here, and this is where the funk goes. So we can see here that we can describe how our instrument is going to look. We've got a keyboard that relates to this keyboard here. We can see we've got uh, a form, so the form relates to this window here. We can see we've got caption, which is here, which you can see appears here, so untitled. If I change that to, for example, titled dot dot. So if now we've got titled dot dot there. So if I change anything in here, you can change the look of your instrument. Okay, so that's kind of the main sections of the cabbage source file.